I'm Bevan Bowen. I'm a chef, artist, and filmmaker. And food for me represents passion and enjoyment. Food should be creative. It should be full of heart and full of flavour. I want to be able to link people back to their own food connection and help them become better cooks and enjoy their own food stories. I'm on a mission to show people how local, homegrown and sustainable food can be awesome. Here's a dish that is really symbolic to my childhood. I grew up on a sheep farm about uh, 30k that way. Um, so I'm cooking some beautiful lamb backstrap and I'm cooking some really good veggies, something that's really going to be earthy. Well, first things first, I've got this stunning lamb backstrap. A good cracker sea salt. Now, we're cooking out in the rainforest. Really, really important that everything that you bring in, you bring out. Really, really important. I can't stress that enough. Okay, lamb. We've got a really hot pan. You can see she's a foldable pan. Comes with me everywhere I go. There we go. So we're going to be cooking this baby for about three minutes on both sides. Make sure she's sealed. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to ensure that it rests. We want to rest it for about five to six minutes, just so all the juices settle down and she's nice and gentle ready to carve. We'll flip her over. You can see in there that caramelization. That's exactly what it's halfway down that meat and that is absolutely perfect. Really important now, keep feeling it. Keep touching it. And the meat will actually let you know when she's ready to come off. Get the juices all around it. Okay. I'm just going to sit in there. Pan is still on, so now it's time to cook some wicked vegetables and I've got a nice little reduction to go with it. Okay. Pan's on. Olive oil. Good helping. A little bit more salt in there like that. Good here. Some cavallanero, which is an Italian cabbage in the uh, kale thing. Here we go. Nice. We want to just stir that around and you'll see the colour will start to come that beautiful shade of green. It is just beautiful. We're going to suck up all those lamb juices, all the salt, all the deliciousness, and that really top quality olive oil. I want to get some sarsaparilla, Australian grown sarsaparilla. Now, it's a strange thing, I know, but it's got that real rooty, licorice sort of flavour. I feel it's going to connect to the here a little bit. I want to pour it in here, let it sizzle, we'll juice it down, the Keblanero is going to bring all that juice into here, but that lovely sarsaparilla in there is going to act as our reduction for our lamb. Okay. I'm going to stick that across here, we'll create a really nice sort of line, a beautiful cab up there. And meanwhile, that beautiful sarsaparilla is reducing in our pan. Now what that's actually doing is deglazing that pan. So it's taking all that beautiful lamb juice, the cavallanero juice, the salt, and that lovely olive oil. And the natural sugars that are in that sarsaparilla are going to make it really syrupy. My lamb is ready, I want to cut it open. I want to get a nice beautiful pink. Let's have a look. Gorgeous. Do a couple of slices. Nice. And it's going to let all that lovely juice out, but that's alright. That's exactly what we're here for. Sarsaparilla's reducing as well, still going higher. I'm going to let that continue to reduce as I decorate our dish. Okay. I want to get some nice lamb here. Put it on top there. Just keep it really simple. We want that pinkness to show as well. We've got some locally made goat's cheese. And I want to just sprinkle it around the plate. What we'll do is get our little radish. I need a little syrup, ready? Sarsaparilla all up the lamb. A little bit around the plate there. 